Hello and welcome. I am your Forza Dino Forza fan, Drift Shepherd. Today I bring you the Forza Thon for uh, this Friday's Forza Thon event. So as you can see, I am in the Fox Body Mustang from the last Friday's Forza Thon on Bathurst, doing one lap on the mountains, uh, one, uh, one race on Bathurst Mountain Panoramic Circuit. I will bring you up the Forzathon. So this is what we're going for. The 1988 Holden VL Commodore Group ASV. I will not be going for the uh, driving unfortunately. It's not my favorite. But uh, some I will depending on what it is. This one's like, mm, it's okay. Uh, also, we will be going after party in S. Uh, when I race in the 1967 Ford Falcon X or GT to get the 2016 Chevy Le Camaro Super Sport. So those are the two cars we're going for, and uh, without further ado, let's get on to the uh, challenge. So hopefully you have enjoyed last Friday's uh, drift event. Um, also, SDA is showing up again for round four. Sorry. Uh, my credit is ready for that. Uh, again, I'm using fuel and tire oil only because uh, I just came up from drifting throughout the week a bit. So unfortunately, I am well, not, I am not going back to the just cosmetics. It is gonna have to do uh, gives them more of a realism, realistic uh, take on the game. And of course, manual with clutch. Why not? We're all together using the nice Xbox One Elite controller. Also, as you can tell, there is no braking line, so it is totally up to me if I break or not. So if I break too late, I may end up to the wall or worse. So I gotta be very a little cautious and depending on what speed I'm gathering behind the vehicle. Um, other than that, that's really about it. So yeah, ABS off, trash and saber is off, um, brick line is off as well now. So try to get more realistic, especially with drifting, you don't really need a brick line because you're not really trying to slow down at all when you're going into the corners. You're pretty much purposely going into it sideways. But uh, yeah, this is a little bit of information on what I am using. Also, if the mic is a Blue Yeti Block Edition mic, followed by the Sennheiser's HD569 headphones from Best Buy. Save up the mic as well. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, ooh, the map clock paint job. Oh, you're yeah, gonna switch So, try the needle a little bit. Over oh, here, the uh, transmission. So as you can tell, I do get off the accelerator and hold in the clutch a bit longer to make sure the gears engage. But uh, yeah, I was happy to finally get the full edition of the Fox Body Mustang. Uh, it is my favorite one of the uh, Mustangs, uh, just because it's again it's a Fox Body, and you can easily drift them. Won't stop a little bit of an angle, which is pretty cool. Uh, a little too much. And, uh, not enough on the brakes, a little too uh, much speed behind me. I didn't know what I might do is put the hood to stop. Uh, other than that, that's really about it. Uh, but let me know in the comments if you do like the hood the way it sits. Drifting it sideways and it's going to a wall. And yeah, there it goes. <laughs> also, I am drinking a Captain Morgan Spiced Cola pre-mix, of course. Uh, don't forget to put in the comments if you would like to uh, what you're drinking uh, for today's episode. And now I do not permit underage drinking by any means, so do not by any means be saying that you are drinking. 
Definitely is in the bag, and we get a. Ooh. I don't really need that. It would be nice, but I was originally trying to go for the Viper, but because the call pack came out, that upped me to uh, 25, and I lost the uh, Dodge Viper. But uh, unfortunately, I won't be getting that vehicle. I'll be going for the cash, as doing vehicles are not cheap to do. It may be old, but uh, it's definitely got some nice bug looks to it. X or G. Yep. Hold on, I just want to see if we can do the short route of uh, uh, Prague. Why not? It depends on what you do that determines the outcome of the day. This one is how I look at it. So if you do bad things, they might happen to you. But if you stay out of trouble, well then you should be more than okay. But things might still happen but just to know what you do. In other words, every action is a reaction, which is very interesting to hear that. But uh, yeah, so for every action you do, there's always a reaction. Just like every consequence, there's a consequence for that too. What am I doing? I have no clue where I'm going. And yes, it is right side drive, so uh, I am on the right side of the vehicle, which is not the left, which is the standard ones in uh, US and Canada. Um, but it would be cool to see some of them. Actually, I think it was the last week I saw a beautiful, in my own city, walking off from work, a beautiful Toyota Supra, silver painted. Looks so nice and clean. You can hear the turbo screw up a bit too. But I uh, just wanted to throw it out there. So a nice Nissan Skyline GT 340. Uh, definitely a beautiful vehicle as well. Love seeing those JDMs around the city. And actually there's a drift event at Red River Exhibition Port where the River X, X pumps every year. But I think about a week or something, give or take. And uh, they'll have some stuff going on from one to I think it's at three or four at least. And it's a buy-in ticket at the door. And it's actually not that expensive. So it's definitely if you're able to go down there and you live in my city, uh, definitely if you're into vehicles and any type of sports like that with uh, automobiles, they will be doing some drifting stuff down there and uh, it'd be pretty cool to see. Uh, it'd be my first one going to a local event like that. I haven't got to anyone since before then at all. So this is, that would be the same one, but this time in a 1965 Mini Cooper S. So, Let's first pick the automobile. It is again the Mini Cooper. So let's go check it out. Fast and Furious GTX Plymouth. Believe it or not, it's pushing 2,000 horsepower, 1,615 foot pounds of torque, weighs at 38.19 pounds. So eh, she's a little crazy. In on Bathurst. So now we get to go set up the track back to Bathurst. Oh, playing Forza Horizon 3 and you want the Forza Thon still, you can watch his videos, he does, he does a pretty good, a very good job with his, oh. I'm not used to such a, uh, little bit, under slow vehicle like this. But it's a bit of a difference. Don't want to ask me, the little more that this thing has. Uh, Mini Cooper actually had a teaser of the vehicle. Where they drive this, and then at the end it comes up with a new one. So definitely learn from that one. Don't underestimate, underestimate any vehicle. It can handle a lot better. It has only four gears. You can definitely hear the tire squeal as it's starting to push the limits. And yes, you did hear the uh, the gears grind a bit when I shifted. But also, uh, the Formula Drift Pack, you do get a Forza 7, which is a big, uh, a big thing to have coming for us, eventual, uh, I would think maybe next month, but, uh, 
we'll have to wait till the Voza Monthly comes out and lets us know what's going down. But that, I believe, might be the last ball pack for the Voza 7. But we'll just have to wait and find out. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool to see that Voza is finally getting a Formula Call Drift Pack event finally. Uh, it's nice to see that Formula Drift Post that we want to drive come in with the crazy angle that they run. And man, do they work pretty good on the track. Oh, very good actually. Uh oh. Came in a little too hot. I mean, we came in a little hot boy over here. So you gotta get taken at uh, 50, 60 miles an hour. Not realizing that some of these tunes are a little tight. Well, not tight, but just down here wise a bit. But actually, this would be a great section to drift in uh, Keep Boys of Drifting Fun event. Uh, definitely be pretty cool to do bath boost on that section as a drift event. Trying to hit the uh, ape, the proper line for that. But uh, definitely we'll have to wait and see uh, what comes up. I believe this Sunday they are announcing uh, stuff that might be coming for us to do. But uh, we're definitely have to wait and see what uh, is coming up next for them. Definitely yeah, was very grateful to be able to. Uh, Participate in the event. Uh, Give it my best. Uh, my driving was up to pole by any means. Um, my bike run was that was pretty much. Uh, I know I might be repeating myself from the last time, but my bike run was very uh, not well good. I could have done better, but uh, I was hesitating a bit. And uh, the type of tuna has on it for handling. I had the confidence. I should be able to throw it in a decent amount and I wouldn't spin on at all or over rotate the vehicle in other words. Can we do some follow drive? We're doing it across the finish line, the style. That's why right, I'm called a drift shepherd. <laughs> sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, it all depends. But see, Rebel aka the machine. Uh we'll actually give it a shot, since it is a C class, why not? It also looks pretty good as a drift build as well. I did that in a brief full uh, Hit that like button and subscribe. And hit that bell notification if you all enjoy it and if you haven't already. Stay tuned for more videos because they do come out on uh, Tuesdays and Fridays. Look at that, drifting in uh, the vehicle mode. Showing off to you guys, why not, eh? <laughs> if you didn't know, I am Canadian, so definitely, uh, This thing's not even upgraded or it's pretty much stock and uh, you can easily get this thing sideways with not even much of an effort at all. There we go. Yep. <laughs> Did it stretch off and unfortunately I didn't really clear that properly. Red line. Oh, well, yeah, it's five views. You must have a street transition or something. A little bit of a late drift into it, but uh, other than that, still looking fabulous as, as always for being a uh, cool old automobile. So that will um, conclude the Forzathon events for getting the uh, the Holden and the Chevelle, uh, Chevy Camaro Chevrolet. And there you have it, the Chevelle, the Chevrolet Camaro Super Sport 2016 model, looking nice. Ooh, we're gonna see the Lincoln Delta S4. That was cool. Ah, the 2014 Infinity Q50 EAU Road. Interesting. So that will be next Friday. You got seven days for, to the next one. Uh, you have till, I believe this is till next, it's a Thursday you have to get these. Uh, the Camaro, the Grisel Monkey Driver Gear, and the Horden VL Commodore Group 8 SV. 
So, like I said, I'll conclude the Forza-thon, get in the vehicles. Um, I'm, these are also pretty simple. You just gotta drive the Horden Toronto A9X. Uh, these, I did keep the Forza-thon version of it. But, uh, anyways, I'm gonna go to the close-up. So, uh, if you haven't already and you all have been enjoying the uh, content of videos coming out, I know all you know is not the most hyped up video, but uh, definitely do give it a try. See if you do like the story behind it. Um, the one mission that's coming up is a, a complete blind playthrough. So uh, definitely do check it out once it goes live for Tuesday at 12 noon. But uh, as always, uh, if you're enjoying the gameplay and you do like the content, you haven't subscribed and you like to, please do subscribe. And don't forget to hit F. And don't forget to hit the bell notification. Also, uh, don't forget to leave a comment if you do. Uh, also, if you want to like to, you could excuse me, leave a like notification, a like to the video, so is that you guys all enjoy the content, the video that I am bringing you. But uh, until next time, this is your Die Hard Force fan, Drift Seppers. Have a good day.